Hi guys, you alright? So today I want to talk about Superwoman, otherwise known as Lily Singh, and I want to talk about her vlog channel, my relationship with her vlog channel over the last, like, I don't even know how long, and what I used to think about it, and what I now think about it. But before I get into that, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a massive thumbs up. If you don't enjoy it, give it a dislike, do what you want, I don't care. But don't forget to subscribe and... so that you know exactly when I post a new video. So I want to start by talking about how I got into watching Superwoman's videos, which I can't remember exactly how I got into it, but I know that like I will have seen her around and heard people talking about her and seen her in other videos and collabs and what have you. But eventually I know there will have either been a collab that she's done with someone else and I wanted to see the second part on her channel. Or you know what, maybe I just heard about her a lot and then I needed someone else to watch and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give this a go. So initially, as most people probably do with many YouTubers, I probably came across her main channel first, and which, you know, I've always loved her main channel, I do enjoy her videos, I think she's really funny, and I think she has some good ideas and some good content out there. So then, eventually, after watching some of her main channel videos, I thought, why not start watching her vlogs? Which I did for a little while and I subscribed, but I think the thing that I mainly didn't used to like was the kind of style of her vlogs and the kind of structure. So most people's vlogs at the start of their day They'll say either, oh, I've just woken up, or this is a point where I've gotten myself turned around and I want to say hi, and this is what I'm doing with my day today. So they're basically introing it by saying, this is the start of my day, this is what I've got planned, this is what you can look out for. And then as the day goes on, they film bits of what they're doing, they show you what they're doing with their day, and then at the end of the day, they might recap on what a day they've had, and then they say something like goodnight or whatever, and then that's the vlog over, and that's a typical structure. But Lily's vlogs, I just felt like, yes, there's some kind of structure like that to it, but I didn't like the video game element. Like, I get gaming is big on YouTube, that's probably why she wanted to incorporate it, but for some reason it just didn't sit with me and like, every part of your day is like a video game and oh you're earning points here and points there and that just really confused me and it didn't really sit with me and I didn't really enjoy watching it. Now at that point, I'm not gonna lie, I did unsubscribe. I wasn't really interested in watching the content, so I'm like, you know what, I don't want to see this in my subscription box anymore. And then more recently she said on her main channel she wanted to take a bit of a break, having some kind of mental health issues, and she wasn't really loving the content she was making. And honestly, that might be the reason I wasn't really interested. She wasn't loving what she was making, so I wasn't loving what she was making. But now, in more recent weeks, she started and she's come back with 12 collabs of Christmas, which I think are great. I think the James Charles collab was great. Her collab with the Try Guys, which was what, the 12 Days of Christmas song, but millennial version. Hilarious, again, still always loved her main channel stuff. I still really like it. But what she's doing alongside this 12 Days of Christmas collab stuff is she's posting vlogs of her making those. And those vlogs are what I'm really starting to like. She's collabing with people, and she's filming the day as they're collabing. And you know what, you just get to see what goes on behind the scenes in the day of what they're doing. So that's why I like it, because it feels more like just a genuine vlog, this is what I'm doing in my day, and this is what's going on. So it feels a bit more authentic, and that's why I'm enjoying it. So I feel like this is hopefully the direction that she keeps going in, and she keeps just making genuine vlogs of what's going on in her day instead of like, every day needs to be like a game. I mean, some people must have liked it. I mean, I don't know, maybe she was losing views and that's why she fell out of love with it. I don't know. But if we're gonna try and be mentally healthy, all we need to really think about is what's going on right now and I really love the content that she is making right now. Also, the lighting in this video, because I always use natural lighting, it's going all over the place. Thanks, window. But what do you think about this? Did you used to like Lily's vlogs? Do you now like them? Did you like them the whole time? Do you not watch them because you just thought they'd be rubbish? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a massive thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, again, give it a dislike. Do what you want, I don't care. But if you want to watch another video just like this, 
one, there's a couple right over there that you can watch right now. And how meta, because I definitely got my end card idea from Superwoman. But there's also a subscribe button below me that you should click, because I post new videos all the time, and hit that notification bell so you know exactly when. And I'll see you soon!